And the exile effect from this is insane. Alright. Go. Go, my absolute powerhouse play. Double pain. And, guys, let's enjoy the show. So what about seven new cards for three mana? I think that's good enough. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, look at all of this value, man. Hello everyone, it's Love here, and today my Spice Apparatus Demir Control. Absolute fan favorite for a very good reason. When you get this deck going, it doesn't stop. Going infinite with step in between worlds, uh, so you can shuffle, you know, all the cards. And even though your opponent also draws cards, I mean, you get the discount from my Spice Apparatus, so you can use all of them probably on the same turn. And yeah, with Intimidation Campaign, you just never stop with the value. And Silver Scrutiny together with Outrageous Robbery scale infinitely with Apparatus. Don't forget, you can also use three steps ahead to copy Apparatus to accelerate your X cards even more with augury that uh, the counters are faster and yeah you have enough removal to just survive so the deck is absolutely awesome and probably the coolest way to play Demir right now so i hope you will enjoy let's go into the games and if you want to support content like this and making some cool control decks check out the patreon you get the decks earlier and you get the shout out so cool stuff so yeah that's it and enjoy the games uh, he needs a good follow-up or he will lose the game very quickly because while we are super slow by being on the draw uh, our you know power level is way above him like it's not even close so if he doesn't close the game in like four turns uh, he will die and so far he's not dealing damage he needs to do one of the problems uh, with aggro decks i honestly think oh those bats will be super annoying uh, but we still have to kill this all right here we go here we go uh, so what do we go for this turn i could try to steal one of the things with the heist or just remove it from him i think we just go for this without gift this deals one damage but hopefully we get rid of a good follow-up well i mean this buffs their their stuff right so they are at full mercy of top deck. By the way, if we get the creeps, we win the game instantly. If we don't, it's, it might be close. Mirax is strong, but very, very slow. And I know I have the munition field, but at this point we have to play Mirax. This is our moment to play, uh, sorry, apparatus. <laughs> I'm so used to turn four Mirax that I, you know, I kind of forgot that it's not a Mirax deck. All right, this is also important. They need something that amplifies all of this. If they hit a normal card or especially a land, that gives us a free turn and we can start going absolutely, you know, uh, crazy with this deck. All right, four damage, getting close. If we're on the play, this would be way easier, but on the draw, you kinda need to work for it, you know? All right, that's the first counter. Probably not my favorite draw of the, of the year. Uh, so I think we go with the munition field here. I would love to activate the reef and start blocking. And then I can go for the throat another creature, so that's a good play. But it opens their Mirex one time, you know, one more time. Alright, I think we have to be smart about this turn. Because we are on the verge of stabilizing fully. This is 5 damage, but we can start sweeping the board very quickly. I can already go 3 mana scrutiny into go for the throat on this turn. And if they want to use Mirex, they can only play 2 drop. So if they throw 3 drop like Evangelist, it cannot be played together with Mirex. So maybe we don't need to use Demolition Field, it depends. But those 2 bats, uh, after casting removal, are super strong. 5 damage. They might be attacking into the reef right now. And it seems that they do. I think we'll try this. Uh, pain. One damage. Five. I could try to hit Eclipse and then we win with this. Or we can just go here, try to block this, remove with go for the pro the bat. And that's only four damage on this turn. No, I honestly think we just go with Silver Scrutiny. That means we don't declare blockers. We go for the throat, probably the bat, because it has flying, so the most annoying one. Uh, we have one counter, so Silver Scrutiny is going for three already. 
that's only for them. I, I like I like this play. It's basically kind of the same as activating grief because of the yeah. All right. So we know their play. Let's go for this. I should wait until the answer, but that should be kind of it. All right. Some interesting cards. Definitely not exactly what I hoped for. We need a sweeper or a remover. All right. This this is a little bit better. So they have one more. This will be 10 damage on board. That is a lot. We could three steps ahead. And honestly, I think this is the play. We need to get something a little bit better. And we get a full discount. So it's basically two new cards. <laughs> sure. Of course. Why not? Alright, I will keep doing it until Shuffler decides I can win the game finally. Thank you, Shuffler. Uh, so we can fi finally win the game. I don't need to read here. So, what is the play? Uh, we go Eclipse. Uh, that means we probably need black mana, so we will paint down to 5. I think we go Demolition Field. They use Mirex. But we need to do it smart. Yes, alright, this is the play. So, we go Chorus, Chorus, we use Demolition Field, then they Mirex, and we take Black Land, we play Eclipse, and we win the game. See? One draw from the mer Merciful Shuffler, and the game is instantly won. This was really hard because of this Mirex draw, that gave, us, gave them like three extra creatures, and also helped them activate the case, which wouldn't be the case if they had this, right? Now we go Eclipse, and we say see ya, because they lost every pressure they had, and that's the cool thing about the campaign. Even though it doesn't synergize with Mindspray Separatus, uh, it helps you draw cards that synergize with Mindspray Separatus. We need as much mana as possible on this turn, I think. And the life gain really helps. So as you can see, even though it feels, you know, anti-synergistic, look how much difference it makes. Now we can go this, we can kill the creature, and thanks to this we just drew another card, we are live gaining. It, it gives you everything you need in this stage of the game. Uh, do I want to steal four cards? Yes. Yes I do. Because with this we should be able to populate the board more than he can, and that will give us advantage for the next turns. So then we can go uh, campaign and keep doing this. Uh, you can also activate campaign with Reef. So even if your draw is absolutely dead, you still can do the thing. Well, not extremely impressive right now. Double Painant? <laughs> sure. <laughs> what can go wrong, right? Alright, I think it's worth it. With Campaign, I'm not super scared about it. And we have way more stuff than he does, you know? Uh, let's play the Sewer, see what the next card is. Extremely nice card. So. I honestly think we just go with a lot of stuff here, because they cannot go through. Uh, this one has trample. You know what? This one has trample, so actually let's play differently. I will first draw this. We don't need this. So this will be a cleanup, basically. We won the game, but we just need to, you know, force the win. And this should be good enough. Uh, I should probably get rid of something. Let's maybe go... Evangelist? I don't really care about Mirex, I think it's too slow. Uh, so let's go for what? This, this. We can shuffle cards back into the you know library, so let's be smart about it. I overpaid, it's fine. Yeah, this one is the most annoying one. Land, as expected, because otherwise they would play. Oh, they only have one, sure. Uh, you can take the deck, but I mean... We've all seen all of them. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. And that means the board is fully clear. And we can start going with some extra, you know, clutter basically, so they cannot attack us easily. When we play all of those, we will have so much stats that he actually cannot contest us on the board. Three, three rabbits. Good for them. Good. Oh boy. <laughs> they will scoop after it. And I'm, I'm all for it. You know, let's just attack, just to send the message. They will think, well, I'm sure I'm winning against this attack. And then we kill everything, they scoop, right? And now, can we offspring? Yeah, we can. 
And this is actually so fun. I can use his own deck. And we have better value. I should read what the cards do, but we don't need to. We are too far ahead to care about what his little puny deck does. Well, that's probably the best one card you can draw. Uh, and even this is not good enough for him. So what about seven new cards for three mana? I think that's good enough. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, look at all of this value, man. All right, I'm super happy we are playing the campaign because that's literally the only thing we got on this turn. And that's actually crazy. All right, so what do we go for? And they don't have trample and they won't. So we can just triple block, right? I can convoke, but it's not worth it. I can sacrifice one of the creatures. Man, this draw was kind of insane. Like, I, I started to think, wow, so many new cards, and it was like just land, 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 land. I didn't expect Silver Scrutiny for like seven uh, or something cards. Won't give me any extra value, but it happened. Sure. Uh, they won't win, but it will definitely help them, you know, just to go a little bit longer. All right. And we'll block the card with the most power. No trample, so we can get a card with the fountain port. But man, this is kinda close, isn't it? Just being new aggro deck. And we want to sacrifice... Okay, none of them have trample. So let's go like this. We draw a card from this. And you know, we don't trade here, but we are uh, deadly cover pink anyway. And that's why Intimidation campaign is so cool here. We, if, if not, this card would actually die right now. Somehow, we have more lands. <laughs> are you serious, man? <laughs> How can I draw so many lands, man? So, uh, what will we do? Definitely Deadly Cover Up right now, for starters. Yeah, I think I know what we'll do. And is there something... Recruiter, do we care about it? Yes, yes we do, because that gives them haste and they don't really have access to it normally and let's go for the eclipse i overpaid again didn't i and now we go recruiter okay everything that has no haste doesn't matter cool all right <laughs> man look how much work it is if your draw sucks like it's so much more than it should be and we will demolition field on those pain lands so we don't need to you know lose any life we go on red mana, because why not? They don't have too much, so they might actually miss the basic. And because it's a crime, we get those campaigns. You can see how much they can save your life if your draw is bad. And let's see if they have red mana. They don't really need it right now. And let's take... What do I want? I need symmetric card, so it has to be a swamp here. Alright, and we play another swamp from the hand. Now we can go with Fountain Port. We play this. And we start life gaining. Long Goodbye is a nice one. Yeah, I think with this it's 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 good enough. Uh, let's discard a Fountain Port. We don't need so many. Yeah, let's discard two of them. We can always shuffle them back. I want to have a Long Goodbye in case something weird happens. Uh, because right now we are closing the game, right? We can play this, and when they find a creature, we just target it, crime again. But man, campaigns just carried this game because it wasn't scrutiny for sure. So we are after Mulligan on the draw against uh, Azorius Artifacts, it seems. So what do we do on this turn? Uh, let's play the Fountain Port. Even though we cannot really use it on this turn, you know. We have two, so maybe we can start using them. It probably should be a swamp, to be absolutely honest. So the idea is that we need to get into our Mindsphere Separatus. We need to draw three cards with Scrutiny and go from there. Sure. Because our opponent is on the play, he will get a very good advantage in basically every way. Uh, so it kind of isn't amazing right now. It's interesting they didn't go for this transformation, right? All right. So they want two cards. What can you do? If they want cards, they will get them. We'll use the Fountain Port. I want the Silver Scrutiny for three, so that's why I'm playing, you know, all the untapped lands. We need token on this turn and uh, three mana Scrutiny on the next one. Not the biggest deal, but it will start to accelerate us a little bit into the right direction. We can even use the Treasure. That could be interesting play. 
Yeah, if they keep the mana open, I will just keep making treasures probably. So we can make uh, in future a little bit better turn. Alright, go for the throw. <laughs> probably the worst draw of the deck, to be honest. It's uh, like we are not getting stuff. Do I want to force them to tap out? To trade fish? Yes. Yes, I do. Haha, <laughs> take this one damage. So dead. Absolutely dead. Alright, so my idea was that they tap, maybe, and we silver screwed in it. And I mean, it kinda happened in a very different way, but it should be good enough. We discard one card, it's okay. Like, we need to get this extra value so we can find Mindspace Apparatus, more scrutinous. Yep, we got another one. So, so, so. Is that go for the throat? I guess they can use the bears, but they are so slow. I will risk it and uh, get rid of one go for the throat. I think it shouldn't hit their constructs that are inevitable. If they are attacking with the bird, I don't mind it. This is very low value play. I wonder what their hand is. Either they are super low bowling or they are just having awkward draw like we are. Uh, extremely... What? Isn't that the best card of your deck right now? Alright, I'll take it, you know? I'll take it. And that should mean a demolition field, right? The fountain port is a big deal. So now we have the fountain port and they do not. And we have mana to make more fish. And they're so cute. <laughs> I really like this card one. Uh, well, let's go for blue mana, I think. Even though we have uh, a bit more in the hand. I think it should be fine. Alright, let's attack. Our opponent is a bit ahead in life. Uh, but uh, it's due to the Anchorage. And we can kill the next one. So I wonder if they actually try to finish the game with this. Yeah, you better defend with your puny fish. Uh, so yeah, well, let's make more. This is such a weird game. Uh, okay, extremely powerful draw. This is huge. And I think this is the time for second fountain port. Alright, we're doing stuff. So if they activate them, I don't think we attack on this turn though. I think we need to pressure them, we need to play those lands, get some counter spell action. Uh, our opponent definitely has huge value, I, I wonder why they don't craft with this. And they actually use it to cycle. Is that really good, good play? I think they are looking for synthesizer because that, uh, yeah, okay, that makes sense. They have full hand of artifacts that trigger synthesizer and they are just waiting for it probably, right? That has to be the, the thing. I'm not sure. I think we go Augury because I need a specific card. I don't need many cards. I just need my stress apparatus. Yep, here we go. Here we go. So this just draws cards. I don't mind it. I think it's okay. I would laugh if they minus five a fish. <laughs> and even though they get the value, it's not too much, right? Let's go with the Augury and I think we'll go for a treasure token here. Oh man. It's a good card, but not exactly what we're waiting for. And ple please don't, please don't. Uh, fish or... I mean, we could start pressuring them right now. It's not nothing. This is the weirdest play ever. I should probably go for the treasure. Like, it's so much better, but I just cannot resist just playing a lot of fish. <laughs> I'm just trying to kill my opponent with them. This is so hilarious. Oh, the control mages, just fight. Uh, so we keep all the counters. Well, this will be a huge turn. I think this is where they, they will unload everything. Probably double synthesizer. So let's prepare. We need a lot of blue mana for counter spells. Tap plant is really good here, just because it uh, hinders their big turn a little bit. They keep on top here. I told you, man, this is exactly what they're waiting for. And we just counter spells. We don't have mana. And I should start manual, ta manual tapping, because the shuffle might get me. They have three, no, uh, three steps ahead in the hand, right? No more ice, sure. That's kind of smart, right? Because we won't be able to do anything here. Sure. I can still bluff that I have more. It's resource, I pay the mana. 
right? All right. And they will counter with something else, right? All right, that's huge, man. If we defend it against this, and they probably have more, right? Sorry, that's me. Uh, I think they have more. Oh, no way. And I actually do it now. For two mana, they cannot do anything. They are going into combat phase already. This cannot be countered, and the the map token is a huge deal because it's an artifact deck, so it will amplify everything they have. Man, this deck, this turn absolutely battered them. If we have Mind Spare Separatus, that would be so much better, though. Yep, yep, they went for their big turn, but we were prepared, and our counter turn was basically bigger than theirs. We are going first, we have Mind Spare Separatus, and this one will be tricky. We probably want to cast this first and kind of waste our Augury turn, uh, and we probably go uh, with Go for the Throat. We also need the mana, we have Black on Pain only, but it's better than just having, you know, Island, <laughs> so it's something. Go, one mana creatures, as usual. You know they will happen, and we need one more land, so that's scary. I could also... Not, I, I could also just cast Augury to hit the land, but... Alright, so we need to go for the Warden so they don't get the, the value. Boros. They still play this deck. For some reason. Oh, I wish I knew about it. Okay, so this has to be Augury. I cannot risk that I will miss my Apparatus turn. I think they might be too behind with this removal to cast Knight. Unless they really want to do it now. Oh, it kind of works. I could try to break this. So if I expect Knight of Fails, I should go for the throat. But what if we miss our turn? I need my first apparatus in the board. I think I need to risk this. If they have Knight of Fails, they're just really good at magic. They still might cast it. Alright, so... I also don't... I, yeah, I, I have to hit the mana. I also cannot cast the Eclipse, right? So I really need to hit the land. It, it has to be a... It doesn't have to be a black mana, but it should be a black mana. I will take on Pain. It's just better. All right. You know what? With this, we need two turns to win this game. If they cannot kill us on basically this turn, we should be fine. This is perfect. Oh man, they are so... they don't even know how dead they are. They are thinking, oh yes, I'm making cool tokens. If they kill Evangelist, I get all the value. Uh, in reality, they are super dead. We won't have black mana for go for the throat on the next turn, but we can three steps ahead. This will be a lot of damage, don't get me wrong, but it's not strong enough damage, and the exile effect from this is insane. Alright, go. Go, my absolute powerhouse play. A black mana, please? I mean, kinda. Double pain. And, guys, let's enjoy the show. Doesn't it look way better than before? Here we go. And we have also the counter spell. With Robert, we can use the full value of Mindsphere Separatus very quickly. And this is a card I actually want to counter spell. This is super strong. Uh, especially against Demir, we don't have a good way to get around this, you know, cheap damage, basically. Uh, I could robbery for a lot, but it's not worth it. We keep go for the throats and then go robbery. Don't forget, every turn is getting better and better. Yep, drawing a card. Hopefully not forcing us to waste removal, so I can cast it for full value. So we go for five extra cards, should be decent. Oh boy, those are some cards. <laughs> the evil Dimir laugh once again. And we're actually ranking up with this one. That's it. I mean, this is kind of okay. We are on the draw and our opponent is fast and furious, as you can see. And Mulligan means that he is an aggro deck just on the rampage. And because he is on the play, his play is absolutely uncounterable. And he just lost the full tempo. They needed to play something on this turn. <laughs> right now we have removal open and we'll start to go with Augury. Normally I save it for Apparatus, but here it's super important that we get there. I think this is Sewers. It really fixes a lot of problems and I actually kind of am okay with it. 
We don't need the third mana on this turn. They didn't spot Slick Shot. We definitely take more removal. You you need as much as possible because you want to trade. They have like two or three creatures here probably. If you can get rid of all of them, see ya. They have nothing. This deck is super vulnerable to removal. Oh boy, they are wasting. This card is extremely good. You don't really want to waste it on just drawing card. So uh, let's go for this. We mind spice apparatus. I think we just won. When we cast this, oh boy, they won't be happy. So they need to pressure really hard. Maybe give it haste, felonious rage. This gives haste, right? And has haste. So, do we go mind spice apparatus? I think we take we can take this damage. I think we can take this damage this one turn. Because I really want to activate it so we can start going crazy. Alright, so they will request Rukus on the next turn. Our opponent is scared. Is that four mana Black Emperor? Or maybe I will just attack as I do since months. <laughs> they still don't know, but we do. They will swing. I think they forgot they are playing magic. Good job, good job. Attacking like a champion. I told you, we know what he will do. However, he doesn't know that he's against Mind Splice Apparatus, and that's already a huge deal. And uh, we want, so I want. Uh, I get one mana this comes, so if I play a land, I can go this into go for the throat. Yeah, let's let's not use the tap lands right now. I want to get juicy 2 for 1. If they are smart, they will just attack. If they aren't, they will try to go for a maximum value. So you know what will happen. And let's see, because they have more. They This is probably like two buff spells. Uh, if we can counter this... I can, so I can go for this, it's two blue mana, and that's it. Right, I can only draw cards, but I cannot make a token. So do we go with it? Well, this doesn't really do anything, right? We are still removing the creature. It deals extra damage, but only one of the damage, right? Because uh, the ability, the passive ability is below go for the throat, so it will never resolve whatever they have. So it's not worth a counter spell because it's just one dif damage difference. And the best case is that they draw something that matters. Uh, so then we counter it. Four damage is okay. All right. <laughs> and listen. All right. I think this is a great target for a counter spell. Probably their last creature as well. We don't need to pain ourselves as well. All right. We don't need the land for sure. And this is our set. Yep. You know that they are leaving the game. Oh boy. Always feels nice to, you know, just see some monolith exploding. Especially that they really tried. They really tried. All right, guys. I think I think you had a great time today. I really hope I watched the video together with you while editing, and it was it was actually fun. <laughs> Especially all the aggro decks scooping in absolute despair. And I'll tell you, man. Even though uh, it's hard to you know cast mind spice apparatus right now, moment this hits the board and you are not dead. Oh boy, moment you untap, you feel like a completely, completely different deck. And this shows how scary control deck can be. And I, 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 this is something I like about Apparatus. It reminds aggro players that control can be extremely scary. So before we go into the, you know, the outro and talk about a few things, because I think you noticed some things, but before we go there, I want to say a huge thank you to our perfect, amazing Patreon supporters for making this content possible. Thank you guys. And it is extremely appreciated. And I hope you enjoyed this one because the mere control of my first Apparatus is my personal favorite. So, what we need to talk about? First things first. Hello, Malicious Eclipse. I mean, Malicious already suggests that it should be used in this deck. Uh, honestly, I think we need more. Uh, this saved me so, so many times, and it seems that the card is way better than I originally gave it credit for. You know, the exile effect actually matters. You remember the evangelist that died? Instead of making a bat, suddenly your board is clear. Uh, no death effect, so all the mouses will die without doing anything. This card is amazing, and I honestly think we should cut something else. Probably one deadly cover-up to go to three, and maybe even go to four, probably at the cost of the highs. Uh, the detectives out there noticed something. It's 61 cards. Sloth, is this some super crazy tech? And does it 
change the algorithm for laddering? Mm, I don't know, maybe, probably not. Uh, I just noticed it after playing the games, so I just left it. And you can probably cut one of the heists, that's probably the card, heist or augur, one of the two. You can also go three steps ahead if you are seeing a lot of aggro decks, but I, I prefer to keep it this way. And honestly, 61 shouldn't make a big difference, so I just keep my build, all right? But probably I would, I would cut like this. Uh, honestly, heist is mostly for, you know, control matchups. And I don't see too many of them, but I just decided that we want to go for balance deck. A step between words card that can be a bit scary to cast, and you need to, you know, know what you are doing before you do it because you are giving your opponent seven cards and usually you pay the mana so first of all you probably need like four or five counters on the apparatus that means that after you know you play this for two mana or yeah two mana because you you aren't plotting uh, you get so much mana to keep using the rest of the cards that you have just drawn and you need a lot of instant speed removal to make sure that their new hand cannot be really threatening uh, with intimidation campaign you can live gain uh, and just prepare for this one big play and you only do it if you fear that you are getting milled for example you went full game so i honestly think you can even play the deck without it maybe this is one of the cards you can cut if you really want to go to 60 uh, however, it can be used especially against the decks that play Jace. We have some counter spells, we have some interaction, so we can steal their counter spells. So we can actually force some things during the game, especially if found important, you know, just making sure that you are winning on the MX Wars. So yeah, I really like the deck. We went 4 2 with this one. To be absolutely honest, even though we were on the winning record and we ranked up with this one, I feel that if I didn't hit Eclipse every time I did, it could be different, so it could be 50%, but that's why I think we need to increase it and we will keep our win rate, you know? So I hope you enjoy this, you know, Demir deck. This is my personal favorite and the, like by far the most fun way to play the deck because even like if you die, it, it happens. Like, uh, you know, you, you cannot do anything about it. If you get bad draw, you just die. But if you get it right and you can go into mid game and late game, there is no deck that gives you this sense of power. And it seems that we, you know, maintain this, this feeling for the deck after rotation. So I'm super happy and intimidation campaign definitely helps here quite a lot. So, hope you enjoyed and see you guys tomorrow.